So like, all right, so this is the oscillated carpet viper. This is Echis oscillatus. Move this up a little bit. Let me focus. Okay. You know, these snakes, I feel like their yield is pretty good for how little they are. Yeah, I mean, like they, they also... They are small, and so they have a small yield, but... They, they tend to uh, be one of the ones, though, that causes the most bites. Yeah. And that bite the, does. The genus of these guys is fairly widespread throughout northern Africa, Arabia, and all the way through into India and Sri Lanka. And because they tend to be fairly small and have small, well, not have small, have good camouflage, they're easy to step on. You got to see the other echoes. Notice how small their heads are compared to those others. So. They call these the Ebola snake because you bleed out of every orifice of your yeah. body. There's See, a lovely fish. He was really working his thing to try to get my fingers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's just trying to get it focused. Okay. If you're wondering what that little box is in there, that is actually an egg laying box. But they also like to hide in them. Yeah. And Jim's probably not real happy that this one's in the box. Would you like me to help you get it out? I'll figure it out. Okay. You guys can see the their little nose right there. I can bear out this one. This is in the room. I'm sure no, she's going to come out on her own. You might look in there. That wasn't too hard. Okay. Back. Okay. I don't think there's anything in there. She just looks. She looks very big. Okay, Mariah. This, this is the one that I really think has eggs in it, in her. She is so round in the back, and they feel like eggs too. But she hasn't laid anything yet, so we'll see. Oh. You guys see that she might have eggs in her. See the round lumps? Can you see them? Yeah. Oh, this shows it even more right there. Okay. You're all done with this 